Thank you. And Minister, look, I want to take the opportunity to congratulate you on your position. I haven't had the opportunity to address you as a minister. I do know, however, that you're a man of some knowledge. You're a long time in the political sphere. I want to thank Labour for bringing the motion, albeit that I don't actually agree with much of it. But I do think we're discussing a very important topic. And the reason I don't agree is it doesn't address, like so much of the debates we have on housing, the actual underlying problem, which is the biggest part of why we don't have housing, and it's planning policy. And we have every councillor in the country having either already drafted and passed county development plans or in the process. And what we have in this country is a one-size-fits-all planning policy. But once you come outside of the M50, and this includes Labour councillors, once you come outside the M50, a high-density planning policy doesn't suit rural Ireland. That's where our viability issue is. I asked your Secretary General in the department how much it costs to build a two-bedroomed apartment. Because all you get at minimum densities, which are high density in the country of 35 dwellings per hectare, are terraced housing and apartments. We need front and back gardens. We have the room for front and back gardens. We have the room to live. But this is the policy that's been dictated. And it costs, your sec gen didn't know by the way, but with outside costs, it costs 250,000 euros to build an apartment, a two-bed apartment, versus a one, a, the, the same 150,000 to build a two-bed house. Now, how does it make sense that we're insisting on this policy in the middle of a crisis where we know that NAMA are now saying that they won't be able to most likely build the 1,214 houses that they're prepared for because of commercial viability. Viability has developed because of all of the planning policy and all of the neglect for the past 10 years when you weren't building houses. Our planning policy and our whole procedure is a t an entire mess. It's not your fault, you're new in the position. But it has developed over successive governments. I'm expecting and I'm hoping that you as a new minister are going to address this issue because I can assure you we can afford the land, particularly in Wexford, to have front and back gardens. Why would we build four-storey apartments with no lift shafts? 56-year-old people who turn into 76-year-old people whose hips go, whose knees go and can't climb stairs. The two young men beside you, department officials, they'll probably never own houses because if it's costing 250,000 to build an apartment with outside costs, it means it can't be probably sold for less than 350,000. Who will get a mortgage for a two-bed apartment at that level? That leaves only one person and one entity in which to buy those apartments, that's the county council. What does that say? We will have nobody, we will just corral those in society who can't afford to buy their own home into high density settings that will become ghettos because the county councils across the country are well known for not maintaining their properties as particularly at this uh, uh, juncture. And all we have to do, and I don't want to reference our previous history in relation to high density settings, we pull them down and now we're building them back up. We're making the same mistakes again. We're not listening. The government are not listening. They're not trying to solve the problem. They're throwing money at it. And I'll tell you, 800 modular homes at a cost to the state of just short of a billion euros won't cut the mustard. It's actually a dereliction of duty in, from this government. We could build houses cheaper, and, that, and we will never produce those modular homes in this country. It is insane that we would go down that road when all we have to do is look at our planning policy, make the changes uh -huh. that will incentivise the development and ensure commencement of planning that's granted. Thank you. Uh -huh.